Hello people, welcome to Selvin and Family Kitchen today. Today we're gonna do cooking rice and peas with curry chicken. And today we're gonna use brown lintel, not the kidney red peas where you guys know about, but in Jamaica we call it red peas. Well today we're gonna use brown lintel, we're gonna use a different bean today. A lot of people don't know about brown lintel, a lot of people know about red kidney bean or red peas, but today we're gonna use brown lintel cooked the rice and peas and so today menu is rice and peas and curry chicken so right here we have the brown lintel where I washed some already I'm gonna put that in the pot in a minute so this is what it look like in the bag so brown lintel So this is the brown lintel, I wash it already so I don't have to use a lot. Normally if we cook in the rice and peas with red kidney bean, they, some people soak it overnight. And if you don't do that, you wash it and you put it on the fire. Take like an hour or two hours to cook, but this one take around 20 minutes. So this is much easier. And coconut powder, half teacup of coconut powder. Add some grated garlics there to put in the rice and peas. So I'm chop onion to put it the rice and peas and I have my chili pepper here as well to put in the rice and peas and some pimento for the pimento some people put it put them in a pot like that but I just gonna grind them up a bit to put them inside so guys now we're gonna mix the Coconut milk. Let's mix it some warm water. in the chopped garlic chop onion spring onion I don't want to cut up the spring onion I leave it whole like that I just twist it up like that I put it inside Half a tablespoon of salt. Brown lentil. I'm just gonna crush up the pimento. Some people when they're cooking and put in the pimento grains and all, but I like to crush it up. Give it a stir. Add some time here. I don't have the, the first time, I have the, the dry time, but it's still the same like the first time. They get the same flavor out of it, the same smell. Next step, I put in my chili pepper, 
So I don't want this to burst in it, I just want it to boil to give it that good flavor and that good smell. Give it to boil for around 10-15 minutes. Hi guys, Marissa is here again in the kitchen. Hi! It's there, so I was in the kitchen with daddy. And this is the season for the curry chicken. So we have some chopped onion right here. We have some spring onion. We have some red pepper and some yellow pepper. We have uh, some sugar over here. I have one potato, two carrot, some thyme, some grated garlic, grated ginger, chili pepper, all purple season. You know this is for and some nutmeg. You know this right is for my mom Garcia. And then we have the, the curry sauce right here. And that chicken. And the chicken right there. You want to see my hand? Haha. <laughs> That's Marisa. I was joking. You can, you can my hair. Look my hair. So beautiful, right? My hair is so beautiful. Mommy made it for me because I always want to have to say So guys, I'm just gonna start the curry chicken. First I'm gonna tip a little bit of oil in the fat. Let that oil hot. Now we're just gonna put in the chopped pepper, chopped onion, spring onion. Ginger. I use a lot of ginger when I'm cooking and garlic. I like ginger and garlic. A bit more oil. I'm just going to put a little bit more oil in it. Let's check down that lintel coming on. Nicely. 
So I'm just gonna put in two tablespoons of curry. A little bit more than two tablespoons. Let that burn a bit. Now you can smell that curry coming out and that chopped onion and that garlic, that ginger, that spring onion, that thyme. Give it a sec, let that burn off a bit. So guys, I think we're ready for the chicken to go in. I'm gonna give it a start. You want to get all of that curry in it with all of that season right down in it. Look at that guys. Beautiful. Just going to put on the lid and that. Let it sweat itself. I'm going to put no water in it and then it, nothing like that. So guys, I know this is not the part where I start with, so I'll be changing my pack because I cut up a little bit too much chicken and it's a little hard to stir it up in it, so I'll be changing my pack. And I just put a teaspoon of all-purpose reason. And that, and that, that you can smell it. Gonna have the rice and peas over here. Just gonna put on the lid. Give it around 10 minutes. Guys, this is the finished product. Curry chicken with rice and peas with brown lintel. So we don't use red peas today. We use brown lintel. Look at that beautiful peas in it. And that beautiful um, curry chicken. And we're using drinking stone ginger wine. I know a lot of you guys never heard about stone ginger wine, but this is straight from Jamaica. Stone ginger wine. Look how beautiful is that, guys. I can't wait to get down in that. So, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up, pass on the video and make a comment and then i will see you guys in the next video and if you want me to do another curry chicken like this for you guys make a comment and i will show you so i will see you guys in the next video